Assembly and installation instructions for 55 inch storm shell TV hard cover and wall mount. Tools required electronic stud finder for drywall installation, Phillips head screwdriver or electric drill with screwdriver, a bubble level, crescent wrench, 13 millimeter socket and wrench, electric drill, 1 8 and one-fourth drill bits for wood stud installation. Centering the storm shell hardcover adapter mounting plate. The 55 storm shell hardcover and TV wall mount are designed to be installed on solid concrete or brick or on wood studs. For wood stud installation, the 55 storm shell is designed for installation on four studs spaced 16 inches apart if a different wall placement of the 55 storm shell is required to center the TV in a particular space, or if the wall studs are built at 20 inch spacing, then an adapter mounting plate will be required. Please consult the item 55 storm shell adapter mounting plate as shown on stormshelltv.com. This assembly instruction is for wood studs at 16 inch centers. Assembly of the storm shell back. Step 1. Remove the TV bracket from the storm shell back right part by removing the four securing bolts. Step 2. Place the storm shell back right part and left parts together. Connect the two parts using four S3 bolts with four N2 flange nuts. Note the bolt head is placed on the outside of the storm shell back and the flange nuts are secured on the inside. Step 3. Attach the two angle brackets using four S3 bolts for each bracket and four N2 flange nuts. Note the bolt head is placed on the outside of the storm shell back and the flange nuts are secured on the inside. Step 4. Assemble the four buckle latches onto the storm shell back using the S7 screws. Assemble the storm shell front. Step 5. Place the storm shell front left part and right part together. Connect the two parts together using the top connector bar with two S2 bolts. The S2 bolts are placed through the storm shell front top plastic and secured into the threaded holes in the top connecting bar. Next, attach the bottom connecting bar using four S2 bolts. Again, the bolts are placed through the plastic and secured into the threaded hole in the bottom connecting bar. Bolt heads should be on the outside and connecting bar should be on the inside. 
Step 6. Install the middle connecting plate. The bent hook of the middle connecting plate is placed on the top of the storm shell front and the middle connecting plate is placed on the front of the storm shell front. The threaded bolt on the middle connecting plate will penetrate the plastic holes in the storm shell front. Connect the top of the middle connecting plate to the storm shell front using two S2 bolts. Secure the middle connecting plate to the storm shell back using 12 N2 flange nuts. Install the storm shell back onto the wall. This installation is for wood stud installation. Step 1. Use a high quality electronic stud finder commercially available to locate dead center of four adjacent wood studs spaced 16 inches apart. Mark the location of each stud. If a different placement of the 55 storm shell is required to center the TV in a particular space, or if the wall studs are built at 20 inch spacing, then an adapter mounting plate will be required. Please consult the item 55 storm shell adapter mounting plate as shown on stormshelltv.com. Step 2. Determine the height location for the top of the TV mounting display. Mark this height on the center of the mounting stud position furthest to the right. Drill a hole into the stud at this location using a 1 8 inch drill bit one and a half inches deep. Screw one of the S8 screws into this location, leaving the head about 1 8 inch away from the wall. Note, if the TV display is smaller than the 55 inch storm shell, for example, a 49 inch display, you may need to adjust the location of this mounting screw. This mounting screw will be placed in the top right keyhole of the storm shell back. Step three, lift the storm shell back onto the wall and position the S8 screw head into the top right keyhole. Place a bubble level on top of the storm shell back and rotate until the storm shell back is level. Place a mark on the wall through the top left keyhole. Make sure to mark the top left keyhole at the center of the top where the screw will rest. Remove the storm shell back from the wall and check to ensure that the mark for the top left keyhole is centered on a stud. Repeat the procedure for step two to drill and screw an S8 screw for the top left keyhole. Mount the storm shell back on the wall using the mounted screws and the top left and right keyholes. Check that the storm shell back is level using the bubble level. Step four. Place a mark through the storm shell back onto the wall in the six remaining mounting locations. Remove the storm shell back from the wall and ensure that the six remaining mounting locations are marked over a stud. For the outer holes, use the same drill procedure as in step two, a 1 8 inch drill bit. For the inner holes, Use a 1 fourth inch drill bit and drill 3 inches deep. Step 5. Hang the storm shell back on the wall. Use a 13 millimeter socket and wrench to attach the TV bracket using the S9 lag bolts and the W3 washers. Note the washers are placed between the S9 bolt and the TV bracket mounting hole. Ensure that the TV bracket is level and installed in the right direction. 
Step 6. Secure the storm shell back to the wall by installing two S8 screws and two W4 washers in the lower mounting holes. Tighten the S8 screws in the upper left and upper right keyholes. Step 7. Install the storm shell front and check that the cover and latches fit correctly. Install the TV display. Step 1. Place the TV display screen down on a soft, flat surface. Locate the four threaded mounting points that are located on the back of the display, called the visa mounting holes. Determine which screws, S4, S5, or S6, is the proper size for the visa mounting holes. If the TV display has a curved back or recessed visa holes, the W2 thick washer can be used as needed. Determine the visa mounting hole dimensions. Typical dimensions are 200 millimeters by 200 millimeters, 400 millimeters by 400 millimeters, 600 millimeters by 400 millimeters. Remove the two vertical bars and hook plate from the swing arm by removing the two securing screws at the connection of the hook plate to the swing arm. Assemble the two vertical bars onto the horizontal bars using four S1 bolts with W3 washers and N1 nuts. The vertical bars slide into the horizontal bars. The vertical bars must be spaced to match the width of the visa hole pattern. Usually 400 millimeters or 600 millimeters. In the case of this display, the width was 200 millimeters. Step 7. Fix the vertical bars and hook plate to the back of the TV display by connecting the proper screws, S4, S5, or S6, into the visa holes. Select the proper washer, W1, W2, or W3, to be used with the screws. Step 8. Lift the TV display with the hook plate firmly attached to the back and slide the hook plate in place on the swing arm. Replace the securing screws that were removed in step 5. Set the TV cables. Cut the grommet with a box cutter. Place all necessary TV cords through the grommet. 